Thanks for listening to Entre Nido, the show where we help you live the Nido life. By listening to Entre Nido, you'll learn how to develop multiple streams of income. You'll hear amazing stories and takeaways from professionals in their field. And you'll learn more about yourself and how you're wired. The average person spends 90,000 hours at work in their lifetime. Student loan debt is at an all-time high, and 41% of all divorce is based on finances. If you feel like you're surviving, but you wouldn't exactly say you're thriving, then you've come to the right place. Whatever stage of life you're in, Entre Nido is here to help you be a better entrepreneur. Break out of that rat race and start living your Nido life today. And now introducing your Nido host, Matt Neff. Welcome back to Entre Nido. I am your host, Matt Neff. And on today's show, we talk with property developer, Andrew Denton, all the way from Australia. Welcome back to Entrenito, guys. Today, we have a great interview with Andrew Denton from Hillsong Church in Sydney, Australia. Andrew is an executive director of Hills Corp and director of a number of other companies involved in property development. He was a licensed plumber and worked for a multinational building company before moving into developing over 10 years ago. In over 30 years of working, Andrew gained considerable experience in senior project management, joint venture and client relationships. Andrew and his wife, Susan, and their three children have been active members of Hillsong Church since 1991. On today's show, Andrew talks about how a business deal that went wrong ended up costing him $10 million. He also explains how it hasn't happened since and how this one important lesson can help you in your business. Also, I want to mention a great book I finished by Rory Vaden called Take the Stairs. Head over to entrepreneur.com to get a free audio copy of the book by clicking the free book tab at the top of the screen, or you can purchase the Kindle or paper version by clicking on the link in the show notes. And as always, we'd love for you to consider supporting the show through Patreon or a sponsorship with your company. For more info, check out our Patreon page or leave your info at entrenita.com. Thank you so much, guys, for listening. Now on to today's interview with Andrew. Well, welcome back to Entre Nido. My guest today is Andrew Denton. Mr. Denton, welcome to the show. Hey, good morning. Nice to be here. Thank you so much for making time for us today. I'm uh, I'm super pumped to have you on. Uh, yeah, so for me, it is 7, 16 p.m. in the States on a Wednesday, and for you, it is the 4th of July at 9, 17, I believe, a.m., which is pretty cool. So we made it work. Yep, correct. <laughs> so before we get started and into our interview today, I would love to learn more about you and where we could drive our audience to, if there's books or websites, social media, anything you would like to promote. I am in the process of writing a book, and hopefully it will be finished very shortly. Uh, it's on its second draft, so that's a good sign. And I'm hoping it's going to be out certainly later this year. That's that's my goal. And uh, it's, the book is probably called Kingdom Builders, and it's about it's about finding people all over the planet to finance the kingdom of God. I love it. We will put that as time goes uh, on. We will put that definitely in the show notes as well. Uh, links to the book and where you can buy a copy or 10 copies for you and uh, family members. So uh, we're excited about that for sure to get your story out even more. So I would love to learn more about you. So I recently, it was, I believe it was last year when uh, I got to to hear you you share on your story and business and kind of building where you were and what God was doing in your life and how he's blessed you and things like that. And uh, I was just intrigued by your backstory and kind of the story of how you got to where you are today. So I would love for you to share some of that with us. Yeah, well, look, the, the short version is that I, uh, I never finished school. I'm not qualified in any way, shape or form. I um, started out life as a plumber and I did that for the first, um, you know, more than probably uh, 18 years of my life. Wow. And, um, <clears throat> but I was, I was living a life without purpose and I was living a life that relied totally on Andrew and um, I was, I was failing badly. I, I was married with three kids and uh, I was never home. All I did was work, work, work. It was crazy. And um, I had a, an, an epiphany moment where I, I, I changed a, a whole stack of things I was doing. And what really, what really happened to me was that I found that my purpose in life was to finance the kingdom. And, um, and what it meant for me was that I had to finally, finally, I say that, trust God. Uh, I, I'm the son of a pastor and I could speak Christianese with the best of them. And so I could talk <laughs> about taking faith steps, sure. but they were always, always had two and three backup plans with Andrew. And so I had to take faith steps that relied on God, faith that was built R-I-S-K and, um, stepped out in business and, um, 
you know, and, and God has blessed that, you know, we certainly had plenty of challenges, but um, we stepped out of business and uh, God allowed us over a, a short period. Our first The first year we gave $5,000, scariest thing we've ever done in my life to our, wow. to our, uh, our building fund. And, uh, but within eight years, we were given a million dollar check. Wow. And, um, and so you know, we had quite a journey over those eight years. And um, the, the key to it was, was just taking another face step after another face step. God had shown me at the, at the $5,000 mark what I was going to go through over the next eight years to give a minute in, I would have quit. But mm. uh, he didn't. He didn't show me. He just said, Andrew, take another face step. And then over hundreds of face steps, maybe thousands of face steps, long four years, one even six years, it was eight years later that God actually said, you know what, Andrew, I can trust you now. I can put you in a position where I can give you enough finance so you can write a million dollar check with exactly the same faith as $5,000. And so, you know, um, and that was, that was uh, 15, 16 years ago. And um, since then, you know, we've continued in business. I'm in business with my youngest brother and we're property developers. And um, about eight years ago, um, we're part of Hillsong Church. Pastor Brian Houston asked me to become one of the elders. It freaked me out. <laughs> and uh, I said to him, what do you want me to do as an elder? He said, nothing. He said, I didn't ask you to become an elder. What I want you to do, I said, I asked you because of who you already are and what you already do. Wow. As I said, I know, my, I know who I am and I know my purpose. My purpose in life is to finance the kingdom and I know I'm a kingdom builder. And so since then, I've pretty well traveled all over the world. I've launched kingdom builders in every Hillsong campus in the world. We're now in 30 countries. Wow. I've been to them all multiple times. And I've been to many, many other churches besides um, crisscrossed America um, and America a lot. Um, you know, and I, but I have one rule. I only go if a pastor asks me. I never, I never ask to come in myself. And, um, and so it's been, a, it's been quite an amazing journey. And I've, I've found hundreds, if not thousands, of other like-minded men and women now across the globe who know that their purpose in life is to finance the kingdom. And uh, it's just been a really great journey. And so um, when you heard me speak at uh, in Seattle last year, mm-hmm. that would have been there because I was, I was invited to come. So mm. that's who I am. And that's what I, that's what I do these days. Um, I'm a grandfather, you know, um, I'm married for 34 years, the same woman, which is awesome. That's great. <laughs> and, uh, we have three, three adult married children and I have one grandson and two other grandchildren on the way. So by the end of the year, we'll have three. So that'll be awesome. Wow. And, um, I love that. That's that my family is, is super, super important to me. And, um, but I love what I do when I found my purpose. I've never worked another day in my life. That's the, and that's the truth. Never worked another day in my life. Everything that I do now is on purpose. Yeah. Everything I do now is on mission. The reason I'm speaking to you now is I'm hoping, I'm hoping through people listening to this, that you know, I'll capture some other people's hearts, mm-hmm. you know, to realize that their purpose in life is to finance God's kingdom. That's the reason I'm talking to you. Yeah, and I appreciate that. And our, our audience appreciates that too. And I think that's the thing too, you know, at Entree Nita, we've done this show for a little over three and a half years at this point uh, of recording. And we talk a lot about financial freedom, paying off debts, in multiple income streams, side hustles, things like that. But the end goal mm-hmm. is not to just be a, more of a consumer to, to buy more things to, to, you know, insulate ourselves, us for no more, but it is to, yeah. like you said, to finance the kingdom of God, to help others, to be able to write a million dollar check. I know our listeners would like, that would blow them away. Maybe with some of them where they are now, maybe some could do it, but that's the yeah. goal is to help other people. It's not just all for us. Oh, totally. Totally. And as a, as a byproduct, as a byproduct, you live blessed. So my purpose is kingdom, but I live. We live blessed. My wife and I, we live very blessed. And and God's got no problem with us having the nice things. He really doesn't. He's, he's actually sure. happy for us to have the nice things, as long as the things don't have us. Yes, sir. <laughs> There's the key. That's very good. We were talking earlier about this, and when we were in Pastor Kevin Gerald's church there at uh, Champion Center there in, in Washington in Seattle, we, you did this panel with, with pastor Ryan and it was, it was amazing. And there was something that came out of it that just blew my mind and it really helped me to focus. And since then I've heard what this, what you said in your story was that, um, I said, well, at least it wasn't $10 million in a sense. If I'd have, if I've had a setback or something with our business or something didn't go right, or maybe I lost some money here and there, you shared something in your story. And that leads us kind of to our topic of what we're going to be talking about today. 
is just the power and the importance of a proper agreement. And you shared mm. how uh, you lost $10 million on a business deal, which is unbelievable. And I'm really sad it happened. I apologize. You know, I feel bad that it happened to you, but <laughs> I'm so grateful that you would be willing to share that with us and our, and our listeners today. I would love to hear more about it and just kind of unpack today's yeah. topic of the importance of a proper agreement. Yeah, look, I've um, only ever learned things in the bad times. In the good times, we're all geniuses, aren't we? Yeah, uh, sure, um, sure. And it's the, it's the tough times that we learn things. And for me, I've had to, they've had to burn a hole in my back pocket, in my wallet for me to really learn them. And so the $10 million one, that was the biggest, most expensive lesson I've ever learned. And, um, but you know what? I'm glad I went through it. I know I can say that now, but, um, sure. uh, and, you know, what it came about was my brother and I had a uh, third partner that we'd been in business with for, you know, nearly five years at that point. And um, I can't go into all the details, but we basically found out that he was he was ripping us off. And um, hmm. we had other independent people come in to check it all out. And sure enough, it was the case. And anyway, cut a long story short, it did cost us $10 million to get rid of him. And the problem was this. This guy was a, a friend first. He was a Christian, he was part of our church. And so we never had an agreement. We never had a formal agreement between the three of us. And so that's why he ended up taking us for it. All, you know, and so what it, the, the cool thing about it was it hasn't stopped me doing doing other business and other partnerships and other agreements. In fact, I've done many since. It's just shown me the absolute importance of having a very, 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 very good legal agreement. Mm. You know, in um we talk about, you hear Christians talk about not being equally yoked. See, I thought I was equally yoked because I was equally yoked with another Christian. Mm -hmm. But, you know, since then, I've actually done all my joint ventures and stuff and been with non-Christians, but I'm very equally yoked. Equally, unequally yoked is when the other partner has, uh, has more say than you. Hmm. And so, you know, I've never wanted to be in a position where someone else could actually dictate again, <laughs> again, how my money is taken or spent from me. And that's where I was at that point previously. And so <clears throat> I've had, I've done many joint ventures since, and you know, we've, I spent $20,000 on a legal agreement, but I tell you, it, they've saved me millions over the years when people understand this is what we've agreed to. This is who it is. And, and this is how we're going to play it. And, uh, and so, you know, I just write my agreement in a manner where I have say, I don't care if they think it's unequally yoked, but mm -hmm. I want say, Sure. <laughs> I, I, I don't mind being 50 50 as far as profit, but um, I, I believe people are coming to me because they, they, they believe we have the expertise in our field. And so I'm going to have all the say and um, just get a good agreement. So I think that's the, that's the real key behind it all. Um, the cool thing was that God had this whole thing, sorted out a long time before I knew and I hmm. I first wanted to blame the devil for all this but it was really <laughs> was my fault <laughs> and um sure you know the 12 12 months before that I had a I had a project that was um due to start and it just got delayed and delayed and delayed and this project had a seven million dollar profit it was a great project seven million dollar profit I'm, I'm sort of crying out to God saying hey God give us approved you know it's going to be happening really well and it got delayed and got delayed by 12 months and over that 12 months, because I'm, I'm a land developer, the, the land jumped dramatically in price. Wow. And so much so much so that there was a further $17 million profit in it. Wow. And um, and so what, what God showed me through that journey was that God knew all my problems before I even knew the problem. And he also knew the answer to that problem before I even knew I had a problem. Hmm. And so he had the $10 million there sorted for me. And then he said... And I'm going to double the profit you're going to make. So I made a further seven million. Wow. And so there was there was blessing upon blessing above and beyond you can ask, think, and imagine. That's the promise that's in that's in God's word. And so, you know, when we when we put him first, 100 percent, not 85, not 95, even 100 mm percent. -hmm. Promise is he'll bless you above and beyond you can ask, think, and imagine. And so, you know, even though I was foolish and I didn't do things right, God had me covered. Yeah. You know, and so. Um, I mean, did I like giving him 10 million bucks? No, <laughs> but in, in the end, in the end, we had it and it didn't send us broke, which was just an amazing miracle in itself. And, and I'd say that was 
16 years ago now and um and we're still we're still in business we're still doing okay you know so you know it's um it, it's a great uh, it's a great testimony that um god has everything under control and, yeah. and it's allowed me to realize that yes i've got to play some wisdom and yes i've got to have some knowledge and understanding but if my, if my trust is in him, he'll have it, he'll have it sorted. That's so good. And what's amazing is like you were able to lose 10 million and it didn't shut you down. There's businesses, if they lost $50,000, $25,000, they would be done. So that's just, oh, yeah, totally. that's just amazing that you'd be like, well, no, I didn't like it and it wasn't uh, pain-free, but we're still yeah. here and we're doing even better. Um, what, what are some things that you, I've, I've heard you mention this before and I, and I love the concept. What's something, what does a person look like that is giving a hundred percent to God, putting God first? Like, what does that look like? Uh, what does that person look like to you? I, I believe that person is, uh, is someone who's praying with their wife every day. Mm-hmm. I, I believe that person has all their goals and dreams written down, knows where they're heading, knows their path, knows where they're going. I also believe that person's reading their Bible every single day and they're reading, but they're reading with the expectation that God's going to. God's going to speak to them every day. I don't, I don't put my Bible down until I get my verse. And I mean, mm. I'm not putting it down. I just keep reading it. I just keep reading it until I get my verse. And when I get that verse and I get it every time, I then cut and paste it because I read my Bible on new version. Mm-hmm. And I, and, and I, I send it, I send that verse to my family chat first, but then I also send it to 25 other men all around the world every day, mm. every wow. day. And that, and that, that them is that's their little, that's their general kick in the pants to say, boys, these are my key kingdom builders all over the world. I, I hope you read your Bible today. I hope you read it with expectation. I hope you got your verse and you sent it to your sphere of influence. And so, you know, I'm I'm out to create a, I'm out to duplicate myself across the globe. And so, you know, um, the more I can get people reading God's word with expectation and God's going to speak to them. So you see, I need God to speak to me every day. Mm-hmm. I, I, you know, when, when you're taking faith steps, the devil's attacking. You know, I need, there's nothing short of, I need God to speak to me. And so I just have that expectation. And I believe that's what, that's what going all in with God, going hundred percent is, is that I'm not doing it anymore in, in Andrew's strength. The cool thing about that is all the stress is gone. I literally am not one iota afraid of anything. I'm not afraid of anything anymore. Wow. Jesus defeated the devil on the cross yep. and that's it. And so I, I'm, I'm just decided I'm going to be faithful, not fearful. It's as simple as that. Wow. So good. Well, we are almost at that time. I know we're running out of time here. This has been so good so far. What's one thing yeah. that before we go, um, like a final closing thought you would have for our listeners, something that's been on your mind lately you'd love to to share with us? Um, look, I think, I think um, if I can encourage anybody who's listening here, take the step, take the faith step. Uh, if you, you're in the dead end job, you're not, you're not getting where you want to do and you, and you, but you know, you're, you're wondering why here's something I've learned. Obviously I was frozen with fear for 31 years of my life, frozen with fear of taking the wrong step. I didn't want to take the wrong step. This is what I've come to conclude. There's no such thing as a wrong step. Wow. Just take the step. When you take the step, then God can guide you. Now, unless it's illegal or immoral, but you know what I'm saying? Just, sure, yeah. but just, <laughs> t- just, just take, just take the step. When you take the step, God says, fantastic. Now I can work with that guy that girl and he's just looking for us to take the step and that's that's about putting trust in god and um you know what you may you may think that taking the step from being in a job to going your business is some huge huge gigantic leap and it is but it's actually about 10 different little steps so the day you actually put your resignation in on your job is just one, one more little step because you've done the other 10 steps up to that point of due diligence and getting it right and so just take the step. That's my thing. I love it. I love it. So to promote once more, you have a book. It's in the second draft as of the time of this recording that's coming out hopefully soon called Kingdom Builders. Yeah. The potential the potential title. Potential name. Yeah. Okay. Look as soon as I've as soon as I've got it, Matt, you'll know. And <laughs> and you can then promote it to, you can promote it to your people. Perfect. And and it's the book is written in a manner. Not so I'll get more gigs out of it because I don't want any more gigs, <laughs> but it's about, it's more about so any pastor or any person within, within a church can go to their pastor and say, let's start getting the builders. I'm in. 
I love it. I love it. Well, we will definitely promote on our end and share it out. I so appreciate your time today. Andrew, thank you so much for sharing your story with us and uh, getting up early and taking some time out of your day for us. I really appreciate it. No problem. Bless you, man. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Entre Nido. We'd like to invite you to visit us on the web at entrenido.com and hear some of the Nido things you can expect when you get there. As a token of our appreciation for tuning in, you can download a free audiobook. And that's thanks to our friends at Audible. You can purchase your very own super official, super comfy, and super trendy Nido t-shirt. Looking to take your life and business to the next level? You can sign up for a free coaching call. Have a question or comment for us? You can click contact and connect with us. All of this and more is waiting for you at entrenido.com. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to our show and stay current on all the amazing interviews with our Nido guests. Now take what you've learned and apply it and start living your Nido life now.